much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three, two, one, five. Happy one, Sunday, two, everybody. Oh. Uh, out here doing some more adventures out here in South Carolina but there's a couple things that uh, we want to check out so like we said before um, kind of got a very interesting um, what is it like interest in cemeteries especially in the East Coast so we actually found one here in Florence and it's actually kind of kind of neat so I want to kind of check it out and show you guys. So there you go. Just take a look at the cemetery. It's just rows upon rows upon rows of headstones of um, the fallen soldiers. It's a government cemetery. It's a government cemetery. So interesting story about this part. Is that they have like a stockade the Florence stockade casualties that were buried in 16 trenches located approximately a quarter mile north of here so about somewhere over in that direction maybe um, that they just had like trenches where they were just burying the bodies and the bodies were buried without benefit of the coffins and were simply marked with wooden stakes so there is a cemetery here where people from the Civil War are buried here I mean you got people here that served in the Navy and the Persian Gulf and Vietnam most of these just look recent it's actually really intense but we're gonna go see the Civil War graves So essentially it says that, uh, one, you can't come here and chill out in the cemetery, like before sunrise or after sunset, so the sun has to be up, and you can't run in a national cemetery. The speed must be confined to a walk. And you can't eat any food in here. Is it because of, like, cars? Yeah. I thought it was like, I have to walk. You can't run. No, it says in cemeteries where driving is permitted, the speed must be confined to a walk. Because I totally wanted to run through this thing. Kidding. I didn't want to run through a cemetery. Nobody wants to run in a cemetery. Nobody even wants to be in a cemetery, rather alone just... This person is... So I might be wrong, but the fact that it has 132 unknown U.S. soldiers, this plot... This really big empty plot right here was the site of that trench graves from the Civil War. Uh, so I'm, at least that's what I'm assuming, because you know there's there's unknown soldiers here. Nobody knows who they are. Uh, very tragic. But that's what I'm thinking. This kind of what I'm assuming here let's check it out let's see what's going on more over here get some more information so I think I was right back there I had little areas of where it says unknown so the names of those in trench burials were lost after the war but are being researched by the old Darlington district chapter uh, South Carolina Genealogical Society a current list of known casualties is located on the database of the Visitor Center for Public Reference Signs on the stockade road indicate the site of the Confederate stockade. This marker right did my friend stockade So essentially what we're standing on where you have like these headstones that has unknown and unknown and unknown and unknown and unknown and currently where I'm standing right now is where they put a bunch of soldiers bury them in trenches, unmarked graves, everything. And they were able to identify like some of them, but not all of them. So 
I mean, there's a database of like who's here, who's not here, but for the majority of the part, it still remains to be unknown. Nobody knows who was buried here. Nobody knows, even to this day, uh, where they're actually located. So, it's very, very interesting stuff here. Very, very interesting stuff. So we came up here to go get some food, and we come up across this comic shop here, Auto Title, Legends of the Comics. They used to have like a logo right here, with Pepsi signs, which is interesting. We come up to the front, and it uh, looks like they would be open from like one to six. But they have an interesting front there. Not bad. Like I, I like the artwork here. Take a couple of photos of it. Nice. So fun fact, we just found this new place to eat. Basin's Family Restaurant. Awesome. They have fried bologna. I love fried bologna. For four dollars ninety-five cents. Buy that for a dollar. Whoa, that's a huge piece of bologna. Like, I didn't know bologna was this thick. Look at that bologna. Look how thick it is. Oh my god. That is a thick piece of bologna. And look insane. at that hash brown. That's insane. There's a big hash brown. Yes. With French toast. Three slices. Three slices of French toast. Then you go to my plate. Eggs, bacon, with this massive giant pancake. <laughs> This is a great breakfast. This this is a this is a country breakfast in every sense of the word. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it from the side. I think it's a. So we just left. Uh, was it Basin's? Basin's. Basin's family restaurant. So interesting thing about uh, this particular restaurant, uh, the eggs are still running. So they were delicious. So Dashika says, so Dashika says, oh, they use real eggs and powdered eggs. I didn't know that restaurants all use powdered eggs. <laughs> also, when we were checking out, uh, as I pulled up the ticket, the lady was like trying to like ring us up. And the whole time she's like looking at the menu. She's looking at the menu trying to get the prices of like what exactly was everything. So typically in most restaurants, what they do is that they know the prices of just about everything that was uh, paid for, so they just kind of ring you up. It's like, oh, this, this is this, this is this, this is this. She had the menu. But she actually had the menu <laughs> in her hand. <laughs> it's kind of like watching a play and somebody's reading the script while you're watching it on stage. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to be like kind of embarrassed or, um, you know, I, I felt for her. I felt for her. I said, you know what, this must be her first day. Uh, at Basin's, you know, and I commend your effort. Her first day, baby. It was her first day. She didn't know, <laughs> poor girl, she didn't know the... The food was fantastic, though. The food was so good. I loved it. It was good. The fried bologna. It was good. It was good. There's a reverse auction and closeout trade center. It's an auction. We found this. Well, it's the indoor flea market. I know. We're gonna go check them out. Get that 55, 55, bitty, 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 55, 55, bitty, 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 55, 55. Is that how they do it? No. Is that how they do it? I don't know. It's windy. So hopefully there's a lot of there's not a whole lot of wind noise in the. Okay. They have all Barack Obama stuff. And we're in the South, so this is a little shocking. <laughs> Their love for Barack Obama has never wavered, nor will it ever waver. Awesome. This giant sword. This katana just keeps going for miles. 
And this one is a spear. This one has like jagged edges on it. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna use that. These look disgusting. But just in case you want more of these, there's more food inside. <laughs> For reals. But how to get in? That's a question of its own. Just in case you couldn't get enough of your Justin you Bieber, Justin uh, Bieber singing toothbrush. Only his two hit songs. Somebody did love and love me. And that's because Justin Bieber only has two songs that everyone's known for. We got the great Superman book. I wonder what is that? It's just, it's like, oh, it's just an encyclopedia. I thought it was like a giant like. Comic they made a movie with the New York Bloods. You're supposed to Tori's gang. Pet puke. What is belch powder? Oh, you're supposed to throw this stuff in somebody's drink and they're supposed to throw like start burping. I know. They got a cookie roach. A roach on a cookie. Jumping candy. And finger trap. Finger trap. And bullet holes. Oh, chewed gum because you know, with an adhesive back, you can put it on like a piece of paper. Bullet holes. Beautiful. I'll prank somebody. Oh, oh I remember these. Like they got gag lotto tickets. Okay, that's funny. Instant smile, lower teeth. You put that in there, you got it's an perfect. affordable way to enhance your smile. <laughs> Let's see what else do they have. Just place in a cup of hot water for one minute. Oh look, look, they got foaming sugar. Dump this funny powder in a sugar bowl. Watch the fun. Not fun. Uh, they got booger nose. Put this in your nose. Looks like you got a big ass booger in your your nose. Or just magic stuff. <laughs> it's a bidet. They're selling a bidet. So they have all these magic tricks that you can have. So if you were an aspiring magician, you can get all your props for budget and fake beer. There's a pillow in it. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Do you feel safe? It's a little scary. Do you like it? One back there. Looks like with the. Okay, now it's better. Thank you. How do I look? Insane. They got brass knuckles, throwing stars, nunchucks. You got nunchucks? Oh, twelve dollars for the nunchucks? That was uh, probably one of the most insane flea markets we've ever been to. Uh, it's just a mixed match of everything, and that guy back there had brass knuckles, and he had. Um, uh, no. <laughs> Nunchucks, which I believe are banned in every state but South Carolina. So that's crazy. It's insane. Here at the Luther Carter Center for Health Sciences. So you just kind of take a good look at this statue. How cool is that? Look at that. This little bronze statue of him. You know, checking out the health of this young boy. Actually, to kind of think about it, it's a little creepy. Very creepy, actually.